race is has never been less significant a factor uh, in American success, uh, but it's never been a more significant factor for the Democrat Party's success. And that's what's going on. You mentioned Michael Jordan. You remember the Dream Team in the 90s? Mm. They went around, they clobbered the whole world. <laughs> they won games by 50, 60, 70 points. They're not winning those games like, like that by, those, by that margin anymore because the rest of the world raised their game. We didn't lower the hoop. They raised their game. Black Americans need to raise their game. Again, as long as we're spending way less uh, time doing homework every night than white kids and way less time every, every night doing homework uh, than Asian American kids while being perfectly willing to go to the gym uh, and practice the jump throw 500 times a night, we're in trouble. Most kids are not going to become basketball players. You're going to do it the way I did, get an education, go to college, get a job, and work your way up in your career. That's what we ought to be telling people, but we're not. And how is that, how is that message getting through, Larry? <laughs> well, it's not getting through. When you have a shooting like this, and you have somebody like LeBron James, who lives in a gated community, saying, quote, black people are afraid to leave their homes, close quote, you're not helping anything. Uh, when I just now got off uh, from watching CNN, uh, and they had a um, an educator on who talked about uh, the importance of putting time into educating. And he's got a, uh, a nonprofit that's only done by donations that graduated 100 percent of kids on to colleges. And he talks about uh, how hard this is and why this is important. And the two CNN hosts suggest it's, it's very good not, not to hear a bunch of negative stuff. Well, you're the ones putting out the negative stuff. Uh, when George Floyd got, uh, got, got killed, that was 24-7. Meanwhile, a few days ago, a two-year-old toddler shot in the head, black toddler, by another black person. And Kamala Harris was in Chicago the following day on some sort of Joe Biden infrastructure initiative. She didn't mention it, nor was she even asked about it. In Chicago, which is a third black, a third white, and a third Hispanic, 80% of the homicides black on black. Kamala Harris did not say one word about that. Baltimore has a murder rate three times higher than the murder rate in Chicago, even though Chicago has the greatest absolute numbers of homicides every year. But Chicago, last year, there were 400 homicides, 90% of them black on black in a city of roughly 65% black people. St. Louis, 45% black people, 300 homicides last year, 90% black on black. Where's Kamala Harris? Where's Joe Biden on that? Not a damn thing. But you let a white cop shoot a black person and they're ready to march on Washington. It's misdirection. It's causing energy and attention to be diverted away from K through 12 schools. There are 13 public high schools in Baltimore where zero percent of kids can do math at grade level. And another half a dozen where only one percent can. Yet the Democratic Party is opposed to vouchers so that the money can follow the child rather than the other way around. So maybe a parent living next door to a school where only 13% of the kids can do math at grade level and put that kid into a better school so that kid can have a better possibility. The Democrats are on the wrong side of that issue. And for, for some reason, black people still pull that lever, 95% for them, even though the number one route to escaping poverty is a quality education.